Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my rules video for all my servers. Uh, my name's Matthias. I've got about 8,000 hours in Scum. I'm running five different servers to give you guys all the experience that you need. And these rules I have developed over the last five years of running servers due to not something that I want to implement. It's not rules that I wanted to implement. It's by every single rule. Um, in my rules are rules that were created by players. I saw that things cannot work this way. We have a healthy, positive, fun environment, and that's why I created the rules, okay? So we're going to go through the rules one by one. I'm going to make them very, very simple for you so that there's no confusion. And yeah, then I'll add timestamps for all the different servers. We're starting with general rules. Next time, stamp will be survival evolved, and then so on. Now, rule number one is Steam accounts with VAC bans or game bans will be banned from the servers, okay? I don't really care when you got a game ban, whether it was five years ago, 10 years ago. Um, I'm not targeting the ban at the person that has the VAC ban or the game ban. ban. I just have to be very, very fair. I don't really have a time limit on the bans. Um, if you did it at, when you were young, you could have gotten a new Steam account, okay? It's not something that you want to show everyone. So that, that's just a flat rule, guys. If you've got a VAC ban or a game ban, that's it, okay? The decision that I have made, it, with no exceptions, you know, admin will ignore, all the admins will ignore any plea for that not to be allowed. So if you've ever cheated and destroyed other people's gaming experience, this is the place where you're paying the price. Rule number two is no private Steam accounts will be allowed on any of my servers, okay? And I'm playing you a video of how what you need to do before you start playing on my servers. Very, very, very important. I will have a video link when you join my server for you not to not get banned. You need to at least watch this video, okay? And it's not going to take you very, very long. You need to watch this video so that you can enjoy your experience on my server and you're going to waste way more time if you do not read the rules, okay? If you do not follow these steps, you're going to build your base in the wrong way, and then you're going to have to destroy your base, or you're going to have to move your base, or you're going to do something that gets you banned that's, that wastes a of a lot of time, okay? So I'm telling you now, within the first three minutes of the video, watch the entire video. It will save you a lot of time, I promise you. Okay, rule number three, alt accounts will be automatically flagged and banned due to abuse, okay? There are exceptions to this rule, playing with family, open a ticket to um, have a scum admin check the accounts and get bans lifted, okay? So if we, if we discover an alt account, you will first be banned, but you can always appeal the ban by letting us do a security check. And the way we do a security check is we're going to randomly, not when you want to, we're not going to let you call your mom and let your mom control the other PC. We're not going to make it easier for you to have a friend to cover for you at a random period of time. We are going to check that both accounts or all three accounts are playing the game naturally. If we deem that the accounts aren't being active naturally, we will decide if it's an alt account, whether you say it is or is not. And that's it. So if you're telling the truth, you've got nothing to worry about. If you're not telling the truth, you will get banned. Don't test it, please. Rule number four, stream sniping, trolling, toxicity, and racism will be banned. Now, guys, this is very straightforward, okay? It's not only if you stream snipe me. If I feel you are not here to add to the community, if you are not a positive, if you do not add anything positive to this community, I'm just going to ban you, okay? Um, you're not going to have a very long discussion with me. If I feel your behavior is unacceptable to me, and I am not the strictest person in the world, but these are my servers, this is my community, and I'm here to protect them. If I feel your behavior is unacceptable, I am going to ban you, okay? If you stream snipe me, if I get proof that you stream snipe me or anyone else, and I do have admins checking um, when I stream, 
I do have admin shaking when other um, people stream. And I do record the map with all player movements 24 hours a day. It's going to take me a lot of time to go check what your movement was like. But if I, again, deem that your movement was unnatural getting to that player, you're going to get banned. Okay, so stick to the safe side. Stick. Don't take any risks. Because at the end of the day, you're only going to blame me. You're not going to blame yourself. That's the, that's the general thing that happens. We never want to blame ourselves for our own actions. But I am telling you now, do not test me. I will ban you without thinking about it because what's important to me is the community, not a single person, not a single clan, the entire community. Okay? Trolling, toxicity, racism, don't try me. Rule number five, if you are caught logging into one spot just to loot it and then logging out and repeating those steps, and I see it as loot or log hopping, okay, you will be banned. It makes, it makes the gameplay experience very negative for everyone playing the game the way it is intended to be played. So that's... It's as it is, guys. If you are logging in, if you're not playing the game naturally, if you're not running around the map, if you aren't adding to, the, to everyone else's gameplay, if you're not making the environment more fun for everyone because you are on the server, I'm not saying don't kill people. I'm not going to ban you for killing people and raiding people. I'm saying if your purpose is to affect the community and the servers negatively, that will warrant a ban, okay? And I am not a, I'm not a very, very strict person. And I don't ban anyone for no reason. Just think about it. If you're paying $600 a month for servers, why on earth would you ban a person for no reason? Why on earth would you have a problem with anyone? Okay? Because if you've got a problem with anyone, you're probably going to ban them and you're probably going to ban their clan. Why would you have a problem with someone if you're paying $600 a month for servers? and you have no ego, and you don't have any problem with dying, and you don't have any problem with raiding, and you've never taken yourself seriously, okay? So please, let's just stop the, I've been banned for no reason. There's always a reason if you get, if you get banned. Just find out what it is. Um, so yeah, log hopping, guys, is very, very simple. Log hopping. You log in to loot something, then you log out for 30 minutes because you know the loot's going to respawn in 30 minutes. Plain and simple. Play the game naturally. Don't take shortcuts because if you log up somewhere no one else can loot that no one else can get to that loot unless they catch you logging in and logging out and that's not natural gameplay okay rule number six any signs of cheats exploits duping tipping walls exploiting traders or anything deemable as an exploit will be banned play fair or don't play here at all guys again I'm not going to accept your excuses. I've been running servers for five years. I've seen every trick in the book. I've dealt with, I've banned almost 10,000 players on Survival Evolved, okay? If I wanted the server full, it could have been, I could have had the server at 100 max pop day in and day out like other server owners, okay? I don't ban you when I catch you red-handed using cheats. I ban you because I don't want you on my servers for many, many reasons. My, my focus is not numbers. My focus is like-minded people that want to enjoy a game and don't want to be the best of the best and, and connect their ego to a PC game, okay? My focus is my community, nothing else, okay? I don't, I'm, don't care if I have or I don't have the best clan on my server. You know, I leave that to other server owners, which, which are completely dedicated to numbers, money, and egos. I've got no ego. don't really care about numbers. And yeah, you can ask the community. I've banned people that have donated very, very large amounts of money to me. Can't be bought. Can't be bent. Again, don't try me on this, okay? Anything that I, if I, beyond a reasonable doubt, think you're cheating, you're gone. You can think about me for the next 10 years, but after I ban you, I'm probably not going to think about you for, for the next hour, okay? So please, do not test me, and don't think 
you you're going to be able to have a conversation to me and convince me otherwise. I've been running service for five years. I've got experience that you don't. So please don't think you can get around me. Okay? If you want to try it, just know you're going to end up angry, not me. Okay, number seven. Non-movable blueprints are not allowed in trader or safe zones. Non-movable blueprints. Okay? You guys know what I mean. You don't put a... If you've played on any of the official servers with Chinese players, you know how they place items in the trader zone. They push. They put a fire in front of the bank trader. Okay? They put stuff there. Just don't put any blueprints in the trader zones. Okay? It might make sense to you. It might not make sense to other, to other people. Okay? Keep it fun. Keep it realistic. If you're unsure about something, ask me first, please. Rule number eight. If you have agreed to a trade, you will honor it. No funny business. But there, that's, that's explanation enough. If you say I'm going to buy something from another player and that player agrees to it, you will honor it. You're not a bad guy. If you want to be a bad guy, you can kill people, raid people, you can tie them up. If you agree to a trade verbally in game as human being, not as a scum character, as a human being, you will honor it, otherwise you get banned. That counts for the guy that the guy that's selling it and the guy that's buy, buying it, both ways. Okay, abandoned bases will be destroyed with 20% health or lower. Maintain your base. Okay, um, I have to destroy bases that are not maintained for server performance. I have to destroy bases that it looks like that you've been raided and you gave up. So if I see you've been raided and you didn't put locks back on your doors or you just didn't just at least craft another thatch door or thatch wall, you know, or tweak wall. If I see no effort has been done after a raid and I see you haven't logged in for about a week, I am going to uh, presume that you rage quit. Okay, so it's your responsibility to let me know you haven't given up. Okay, even if it's just with a message. Luth, I've been raided. This is my base location. I haven't given up. I'm just taking a break. Okay, just something from you to let me know I don't have to destroy your, your base. Rule number 10, no base parts can clip through one another at all. Even doors opening both ways. Okay, the only exceptions are triangle foundations. If you have the required two meter gap between all outer walls, your doors can clip through each other when they are open facing each other. Okay, so all that means is I need a two meter gap. I need a two meter gap between outer walls. This blueprint is two meters. So all you do is you put a two meter blueprint and you make sure that the wall, you start the wall on the outside of the blueprint. Don't build into the blueprint. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So as long as you've got a two meter gap between your outer walls, okay, then if, a, if, the, if your door opens this way and this door opens this way and they go into each other, that's fine because they're moving, okay? But parts that stand still like wall cannot clip into each other at all for any reason whatsoever, okay? And if you're wondering um, why that is, that's how Trojan walls were invented. A Trojan wall basically means they put a bunch of parts touching one another to multiply the health and break the game and to not be raided, okay? If you don't know what a Trojan wall is, that's the reason I don't allow base parts to touch one another because when they touch one another, they cause issues, especially if you place them so that they go into one another. It causes issues, and then someone prepares to raid you for a month or two weeks. They get there, they've got everything they need, and then they can't get through one of your walls because um, you used the glitching or you know um, clipping. We could call it glitching or clipping. You use the clipping whether you knew you were using it or whether you don't know you were using it, okay? And if you do this with two meters, if you keep a two meter gap, again, the barbed wire doesn't touch one another and it protects anyone, okay, from falling into your base, which is another rule. You can't fall into anyone's base. You can't parachute into anyone's base on my servers. But I mean, you can still... 
you know, you can still do your own kind of protection so that it never happens to you. Um, so yeah, two meter gap, guys, the barbed wire can't even clip, okay? I'm not talking about a wall. If you snap a wall to this side and the wall goes this way, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the flat part of the wall and the other flat part of the wall. They cannot be closer than two, uh, two meters because none of this at the top can clip or glitch, okay? Here you can see a good example where you're putting the wall into the blueprint. You're not play, starting the wall outside the blueprint. Then the parts start touching, okay? They start touching the wall. And that will be seen as that will be seen as clipping or glitching. Okay, that barbed wire is touching the wall or going into the wall, and that's not allowed on the server. So from this is the modular base between the modular base. Okay, between your modular base and your outer wall, there must be a one meter gap. Make sure you go further than one meter rather than less than one meter. And between your outer walls, that's an outer wall. If you've got two outer walls. There must be a two meter gap. Okay, there are reasons for this. And whether you made a mistake or not, some people do use this on purpose to make an unraidable base in brackets. Again, don't test me on this. Please. Rule 11, camping a base without the ability to raid it will be banned. This includes attempts to clear or trigger mines before raiding is active. Camping bunkers is not allowed. If you are near a bunker and hear someone inside, leave or push the bunker. If you want to PvP, but if you but you are not allowed to wait for someone to exit and kill them. Okay? Again, add to the fun, add to the experience. Don't think about being the best. Don't think about just think don't only think about yourself. Think about what you would like the other person to do if you were them, or what you would like to have done to you. Like, someone rage quitting because you raided them, you can't do anything about that. But you know when you're doing something that's just not... What I tell everyone is, think if everyone does that. If everyone sits outside a bunker, outside an abandoned bunker, and waits for the people to, that wants to play the game naturally to come out, and those people leave, then we've just got a bunch of old men an old woman sitting outside a bunker picking their noses. That's all we've got left because now you don't have the players running around. Now you don't have the people that are playing the game naturally. You've only got the campers. Okay, and I think the camping rule is going to ca come up. So yeah, camping is not allowed anywhere, guys. You can't, if I catch you camping anywhere for more than five minutes, I, I'm going to give you a warning once and then I'm going to ban you, okay? Okay. Actually, the first time I catch you camping, I'm going to drop suicide puppets on you because I can just imagine that you have influenced someone else's gameplay very negatively by sitting in a bush and thinking you're good at the game, okay? Using the camouflage skill or sitting in a bush all day is not being good at the game. It's not PvPing because you're going to kill someone without them even seeing you. So if you don't get it yet, in this community and on my servers, I don't like camping at all. Okay, so I had a rule where you can camp at cargo drops. You can't camp anywhere for more than five minutes unless you're raiding a base and your friends are covering you, okay? Or unless you, a clan is looting a POI and one of their friends are covering them. I will know if you're covering your teammates and I will know if your teammates is looting. Don't send a guy to run up and down like a chicken or loot the same places all the time or try and look busy. I will know what you're doing. If you don't want to be banned, play the game naturally and try and stick to the rules, okay? And when I say you can't camp, I don't mean when you're camping the cargo drop, you move from one bush to another bush within five minutes. No, I mean you don't sit still for more than five minutes. If you have sat still for, four, for five minutes at a cargo drop, you cannot stand still anymore. You have to run into the cargo drop. You have to... Um, get out of the area, you have to get out of the sector, you have to disengage, either engage or disengage that area, okay? So if you want to be safe, don't sit still anywhere for more than five minutes unless you're raiding a base and you are the teammate covering your friends, you know, or your friends are looting and you're covering, you again, covering, 
Do not sit at a car shop waiting for someone else to run past you because if everyone plays like you, you will have no one to shoot. Even if there's a hundred players on the server, if every player on the server sits in a bush like you, no one will shoot anyone. I think that's very simple to understand. Again, don't test me on this. If you go to a cargo drop, try and loot the cargo drop. If you don't want to get banned, move constantly. But make sure you're not sitting still for more than five minutes. Okay? And again, I will, I will drop a few suicide puppets on you. Let the other people loot you. Uh, because I think this game needs airstrikes in any case, you know? An airstrike where if I go to a cargo drop and I think someone's sitting in bushes, like bush wookies, I can just send a cargo drop to clear the area or to force you to move out. But until the game brings us the ability to do airstrikes, I'm going to be your airstrike, okay? Rule 12, mines and silent traps are not allowed outside of your base and flag zone or on any roads. Okay, very simple. Mines are not allowed outside of your flag. You cannot place any traps. N no traps. I know some people have asked me, can I place a, a flare trap, you know, at a bunker or at my, at my car? No. Not because that's going to be negative, but because I have to make the rules clear and there mustn't be any bending of the rule. Okay, so I must make it clear and concise. So that's it. End of story. You cannot use any traps outside of your flag zone. Rule 13. You may not go into a friend's flag zone and disarm his traps and exploit game, fame gain and the demolition skill. Okay? There are many ways that you can earn skills or you know, get attribute points faster. Okay, a good example that I can give you is shooting Brenner with an MP5 and an ACOG sight on that. That is not exploiting. The game says for you to gain sniping, you have to kill, you have to shoot AI with a scope. So you've got a choice. You can shoot 500 puppets with a scope, or you can shoot a puppet that can't die. Okay, that is not your fault. That is the developer's fault, and they have no problem with it. It's not as if they don't know you can do that, okay? So until they change it, that's their fault. But if you're doing something weird, like standing on a pumpkin to level up your strength, or shove your head into a tree, or something that just doesn't look natural for you, and you, can't, you know the devs, the developers, surely don't intend you to level up the skill like that okay clearly the developers know that people are using wheelbarrows otherwise they would have removed the wheelbarrows how do i know that they would have nerved or made it so that we can't level up with wheelbarrows because we could have shot sentries to level up our rifle skills they removed that and i think because we can level up our rifle and sniping skill and pistol skills with um brenner I think they will remove that at some point, okay? Because it's just broken. It's by far the most broken thing in the world. So, again, don't try and shortcut skills. Don't try and take shortcuts. If you want to take a shortcut, it's as easy as a message. DM me in Discord, ask me if it's okay, and then you're fine. Don't do anything and think about it. As soon as you do something, you're like, and I'm not sure. One of your friends says he's not sure. I don't care if your friend says yes or no. If there's any unsurety, if your friend is not 100% sure that you can do this, send one message to me, I send a message to you, you're fine, okay? You don't lose thousands of hours of gameplay. Projectiles that can be reused to damage base walls are not allowed. Any ammo type that is lost on use is allowed for raiding. Okay? Um, it was a problem in the past. It's not a problem anymore. But, guys, if you can reuse the ammo to raid, don't. Rule number 15. Any graphics or audio software settings used outside of the in-game options to gain an unfair advantage are not allowed. This includes the use of macros and scripts. Okay? Um, 
visual things outside of the game is using your NVIDIA, using your Windows or NVIDIA or graphics card settings to see at night, okay? Um, I won't catch you immediately, but trust me, when I catch you, I'll make sure you pay the price, okay? You might be laughing at me because you're telling your friends, ah, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Trust me, buddy, You, I will be the last one. I won't laugh, but you won't be laughing when I ban you and you you are the reason that your friends and everyone loses every all the thousands of hours or all the hundreds of hours they put into the server. Don't think you're more clever than me. Stop using it. Because I've I know a few people that have used it. If I see you using it again, okay, you're gone. And macro and strips, guys. Macro and macros and strips. Okay. Um, of course, using strips or macros for lock picking, I'm gonna ban you immediately. Again, it doesn't help you having a discussion with me. Um I've spoken to a lot of people about this, even developers, even programmers. I know what natural lockpicking looks like, and I know what un unnatural lockpicking looks like. If you want to watch the YouTubers that go through gold locks like they're nothing and worship them, that is not my problem. Okay, I do not worship people. I create a community where everyone can have a fair playing experience. Okay, so if you want to be a fan of someone that's clearly killing the experience for everyone else, you know, if you want to jump into the fire with them, that's your choice. I'm out. Rule number um, 16, I already said you are not allowed to drop into a base using a plane or, or respawn. Okay, you can't drop into a base. End of story. Um, rule number 17, alliances are not allowed. Only one clan can raid or defend a base without any assistance. If you encounter a raid happening, don't counter raid. Okay, guys, again... You guys might think some of these rules take the fun away from a server or take the realism away. Trust me. These rules are there for a reason because people abuse it and they destroy servers. Okay? I'm not doing it because I don't want to do it. Or I'm not do I'm not these rules aren't here because I don't want you guys to have fun. These are rules are here to protect you so that you can have fun. Because if I allow everyone to do these things, you might not abuse them, but the people that do abuse them can destroy everyone's experience, okay? Especially the competitive clans who want to tell their mommy they are the best that's come, okay? Um, and then rule number 18 is you may not revive a player with Phoenix Tears just to kill them again. That qualifies under trolling, but I had to make it a rule because a lot of people were doing it. A lot of people were doing it. You will not revive a player just to kill him again. Um, and again, if you tell a person you can come back for your loot and you kill them again, you're going to be in trouble, buddy, even if it was a mistake. So make sure you're out of the area if you tell someone to come and get their loot again. And make sure you don't kill them again. But after you stole them, it's going to be okay. Okay? Stick to your word. Otherwise, you do all get into trouble. Rule number 19, if you can't access your own loot without building something to get to it first, or if a player can't walk and must jump or vault or fall to your loot, it is against the rules. For example, building ramps, wardrobes, targets, etc. That without them, players could not lockpick doors. Guys, very simple. You must be able to walk to your loot. Walk. Not jump. Not vault walk i don't know why i have to repeat myself so many times you must be able to walk to your loot okay so if where your loot is you must tell yourself if a person uses explosives and lock picking he can walk to my loot he doesn't have to jump onto my archery he doesn't have to vault onto my archery target he doesn't have to vault over my wardrobe he doesn't have to jump. He doesn't have to fall into my hidden compartment. He can walk to my loot without falling or jumping or vaulting. Okay? The person must be able to walk to your loot. That's the only word you have to focus on. Walk. Not fall, not jump, not vault. Walk to your loot. 
and you won't be in trouble. Okay? There we go. Rule number 20, you will not use the vehicle push roll mechanics to get over someone's wall. This is a mechanic you you for you to get unstuck and not to exploit. Okay? Same with the wheelbarrow. Same with anything, guys. The push and nudge is there for you to be able to interact with the vehicle. It's not there to get over someone's wall. Okay? Realistically, you can't nudge a car to sit on its back and get that car out of there because you're going to need a crane or something like that, okay? So don't tell me, Luth, in real life, I will be able to shove a Rager up a wall so that it's standing on its backside and then pull it down with my superhuman strength or get it back to where I need it with my superhuman strength. No, okay? Do not use push, roll, any mechanics. If you want to get into a base, blow in or lockpick. End of story. Rule number 21, I think I've spoken long enough about this, but I'll just repeat the rule. If you aren't moving for longer than five minutes for the sole purpose of looking for other players so you can kill them, it's a bannable offense, okay? And it won't be tolerated. There's no exceptions on this rule, except for base raiding and when you're covering your friends, okay? So this rule is going to be changed on my Discord. You can't camp anywhere anywhere for more than five minutes and again when i say camp i don't mean when i say camp i don't mean you're sitting in this bush for five minutes and then you move to that bush for five minutes i mean you get out of the sector you get out and even if you're on the line you're not going to tell me hey i moved out of the sector i mean you get out of the area okay if you're a cargo drop you can see who can shoot who. If you're at a cargo drop, there's a kill zone around the cargo drop where people are fighting. You get out of there if you, if you want to camp, okay? So don't camp. Use bushes. Play like this. Okay, play like this. Think to yourself, I can't see jack shit. The game actually made it so I can't see players in third person. I can't peek walls in third person. So this, I can't see them. So doing this is really, really dumb of me. I'm a really, really bad player for doing this. If you can't hear it, guys, I've got no patience for campers. I've got no patience for people playing like this. You're going to kill someone like this without them even seeing you. Please go play somewhere else. If you want to sit in a bush and kill someone like this or see someone like this, you can do this. That's it. You can do this. You can go behind a tree, okay? You're not going to sit like this until a person runs past you and then shoot him in the back like a coward. Um, rule number 22, no placing of flags inside of trees. If an admin finds one, it's gone, okay? So if you, if you don't listen to me and you go ahead and you do place your flag inside of a tree, I don't, you don't need to place flags anywhere. You don't even need to hide your flag. You can put your flag in the middle, in, inside your base, because to take over a flag on my servers takes 100 days, okay? So as long as you check your flag every month, once a month, you will be fine, okay? Do not place your flag in trees. Do not make it difficult for us to interact with your flag. If you do, we're going to destroy your flag and... Someone else is going to be able to take over your base or go into your base and steal all your loot because you didn't listen to me. Okay, so you might think I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to listen to him. But again, whenever you don't listen to me or whenever you want to, you have a problem with someone telling you what to do, you will pay the penalty, not me. Rule number 23, moving your flag to manipulate base part limits to gain more parts that should, shouldn't be possible is not allowed. Again, guys, I literally made the rule because a lot of people were doing it. Anyone that moves, anyone that sees they are 400 base parts and then destroys their flag and moves their flag to build more base parts, or anyone that sees they can only build one farm, but then realizes they can destroy the flag and move their flag to build another, another farm, clearly knows it's not intended to work that way. I'm I so beg you, do not test me on exploits. Play naturally, 
and be a positive, you know, have a positive effect on the servers, or the person paying for everything is going to tell you to go look for another place. Okay, not because I'm nasty, not because I don't want you here, but because you don't want to have fun with us. You want to have fun on your own. So then I'm going to go send you to go have fun on your own. Okay, now on some of the server, I don't know if I'll ever activate this again, but if I say, a, if you go to the server settings and you see offline rating, just understand that once you log off, your base won't be able to be rated for an hour, but that will probably be in the settings, okay? Once you go offline, after an hour, your base can't be rated for the next 24 hours, okay? But I am changing most of my servers to time-based protection. So like on SE, you will only be able to raid on Saturdays and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., okay, or 10 p.m. I think it's 8 to 10 p.m. So it's just certain IRL times, okay? So on SE, after the grace period, because there's a grace period on, on ev after every wipe, there's always a grace period. After every wipe, you cannot raid anyone for two weeks. So on the 5th of September, you'll be able to raid people again, okay? And then after the 5th of September, when I announce raiding is back on, then you can, you know, you can, only raid on Saturdays and Sundays, which will be notified in the messages. And then when it comes to raining, guys, the last thing about raiding, if I see you targeting a foundation, you're gone. Okay? If I see you placing an explosive on a foundation, I'm going to ban you. Okay? You must have a very good excuse. You must be extremely new to the server. You get a warning, but you're probably going to get banned. And everyone and your teammates watching you do this is going to get banned as well. Okay? Because as good as you feel doing this, you never want this to happen to you. And I did not mean the dying part. You do not want this to happen to you, okay? You don't want to lose a third of your base because the raider was too lazy to figure out if there's a better way to raid you or that the developers is not enabling you to target the doors, okay? I'm going to make videos asking them to let us target the doors because that's how every... That's how Rust works, which has the best base, base building and the best raiding mechanics in any game. So I'm going to ask them to enable us to put explosives on the doors because that's what you want people to target if your base building is broken or if your domino system is broken, okay? You do not want someone to do this to your fully concrete base, especially when you're like three levels up. I cannot allow anyone to do this because if I allow one guy to do it, or I let one guy get away with it, everyone's going to do it. And then everyone's beautiful three-story, four-story with their uh, porridge bowl, um, upside-down roofs at the top will be blown away very easily. No base will be safe. It's toxic behavior. You will disappear. People have already disappeared. Don't test me. Now, guys, I might sound very strict, but trust me, the reason I have I created my own servers is for you to have fun. Um, I love helping people. I don't like arguing with people. I don't like, you know, I don't like banning people. I'd love everyone to be part of this community. I'd love everyone to enjoy their playing experience like my community is enjoying the experience. All I'm telling you is you can't be a leader and make everyone happy. Okay? If everyone likes you, when you're running five servers, you're doing something wrong. Okay? This is one of the most secure servers you will ever encounter due to the banning process and what I ban people for. No other server owners are this tight because, again, Money, numbers are important to them. 
only the community is important to me and that will never ever change hope you guys have fun and yeah that is the general rule section i will if um, that is the most important rules for you to know on all my servers if you want to know about server specific rules that i don't think i don't think you'll ever get banned for server specific rules but if you want to know server specific rules this is the next section but at least you know the general rules now that will protect you from not getting banned next section survival evolve okay survival evolved rules you may only use a plane to travel um scan a base layout or drop into a fight or cargo drop you can never drop into a base or roof of a building that's being used as a base okay coming into a base from the top is off limits you can fly over the plane but not come into the bla plane's flag location the flag location is high and like the flag the flag location has got width and height do not get too close to the base. Otherwise, they could say you enter their flag zone from a height perspective, or you are trolling them, or you are bothering them, and you know how loud a plane is. Do not be irritating, okay? Respect other people's uh, playing experience, and you cannot enter a flag zone. You cannot enter a base on the top. Number two, um, you can build a base zone over a road, okay? Um, at the moment, you can't build a base close to a road due to the new due to the new rule. So rule number two um, is going to have to be changed. Okay. Okay. Um, rule number three: vehicle limits. Solos and duos can own one car, one bike, one bicycle, one boat, or, or one plane. Okay. So if you're solo or duo, you can own a car and a bike and a bicycle. And then you can own a boat or a plane. Okay, you can't own a boat and a plane. Um, and then if you're three to four people, you can own two cars, two bikes, and two bicycles, and then one boat or one plane. Okay, again, you can't own both. Then rule four, if you have a base, you cannot lock up anything in a POI. Okay, if you have a base like this, this thing in front of me is a base. If you have a base, if you have a flag, you cannot lock up anything. For you to be able to lock up something, you need to not have a flag at all. So that is your base. Okay? You cannot lock up garages and stuff like that. Um, number five, kill box key cards or any raiding materials used to craft raiding mats. Um, not allowed to be traded amongst players. Key cards can be sold at the NPC. Okay, so key cards can be sold at the traders. But you're not allowed to sell anything that is used in raiding. Not even the things that you use for raiding, like um, the, the parts to craft explosives. You can't even trade the parts to craft explosives, okay? So when you want to trade something between players, make sure, ask the general chat, ask global chat, is this okay? You know, okay? And if you don't get a clear answer from them, ask me. Um the red zones are no build zones okay on, on se and then the blue zones are the green zones are the trader zones the red zones are the abandoned bunkers the blue zones are normal bunkers okay just to make it easy for you to know whether it's an abandoned bunker or a uh, normal bunker and you can't build in those zones um and then again we're talking we, we're speaking about the grace period and that's it for se Let's move on to New Dawn. Okay, New Dawn. Let's go through the, um, the rules quickly. Blocking players in trade zones or cargo drops will be banned. Again, don't be a dip shit. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be banned. Uh, for cargo drops, please um, check this video. Guys, I made the cargo drops on New Dawn so that they drop extremely fast now. Okay, basically the first guy to open the door claims the drop okay if he can be there within 20 seconds good for him okay but it's either the first guy under the cargo drop or the first guy that touches the door that has six screwdrivers and can open all the lockers okay this is not a big deal you're not wasting your time if you're driving to a cargo drop it happens on all servers don't get angry because somebody got there before you be happy that somebody wasn't camping a bush before you and killed you and took all your loot okay 
You just spent a bit of fuel. Please don't get angry. Don't let this be a problem because I'm rather going to ban you that thinks it's a problem than the other guy that was there first. Okay? Please, if I think you're being petty or if I think you're being too selfish about this or if I think you're making a mountain out of an ant heap, you are going to be in trouble, not the other guy. Okay? Just be happy you're not on a PvP server when it comes to cargo drop. And then be happy they happen so often and be happy that they drop so fast. Okay? Uh, and then uh, vehicle limits, solos and duos can own one one car or bike. Okay, it's so a one car or one bike, one boat or one plane. Because clans can be up to 10 players, guys, I have to delimit the vehicles. Otherwise, there will be a thousand vehicles on the server, which is not good. Okay. Um, and then, yes, the three to five players, okay, can have two cars or two bikes, one boat or one plane. And then the 6 to 10 members can have three cars or three bikes, one boat or one plane. And rule 4 is rule 4 is you you have full freedom to make the trader zones helpful with fires, water catches and music, but nothing that has to that has no purpose, okay? So you guys, the New Dawn community is a very very friendly community, okay? Um I'm not very strict with New Dawn, you know, unless somebody complains about you, you can go nuts. Okay, um, just don't troll. Trolling is still a rule. Again, the general rules are the most important rules. You may not do events if you want PvP, join AC or other servers. Okay, no negative actions against other players or their belongings. Okay, you don't touch other people's belongings. You don't say anything negative to other people that will offend them. You friendly. You add to the. You add. You add to the server. You add to the enjoyment, you become a part of the community, or you go play on your own on another server, okay? Um, if an admin deems a player to be inactive, the vehicle, the vehicle limit will get changed for that clan. Players are abusing the clan limit so that they can keep more vehicles, okay? Again, if you say you're in a clan of six, I want six players playing weekly. I want six players active. Don't add people to your clan just to have more vehicles we have figured all these things out do not try do not try the admin team um you may not lock up more than one asset per squad in a town point of interest where you can't place a flag okay um guys again i'm gonna make this rule for new dawn as well okay if you've got a flag don't lock up anything okay if you don't have a flag you can lock up some, you can lock up one thing don't lock up stuff if you don't have a flag. Okay, let's move on to the next server. Okay, now for the LDR rules. LDR is now uh, basically an official server, guys. It's basically the ultimate official server, okay? If you guys have any suggestions, please put it in the survey suggestions in the Discord in my discord okay um or at luthias in general or at luthias somewhere if you've got a really good idea for ldr but it's basically official server but it's a duo server because it's going to be like a server where everyone can learn to play the game so it, it's a very good server for new players but experience everyone can join the server i'm going to be doing my ultimate guide on that server i'm going to be make i'm going to be making daily videos on that server so it's basically official server, but the general rules still apply, okay? Even if it's an official server, the general rules still apply. Um, so it's a solo duo server. All the general rules apply. The only thing is, um, yeah, the, the, the base, you can build more base ele elements um, you can buy everything at the trader. Um, so, yeah, you've got all the freedom in the world. It's like an official server, but only for duos. A little bit more puppets added. And just quality of life. Just very, very good quality of life settings, which you can go look at the settings. But I don't see any rules that aren't in the, that aren't in the general rules. Okay? So just know that Live, Die, Repeat is like an official server, but it's like, the ultimate official server experience okay and there is going to be 
Um, I think only weekends. You can only raid on weekends as well. So it's basically official server with very little changes. Extremely little changes, giving you as much freedom as possible. But still, the general rules apply. Okay, True Immersion. True Immersion is my new hardcore server for people from Meat Grinder and you know, for all the hardcore communities to come together under the TI, under the TI banner. Is Meat Grinder dead forever? No, guys. I don't know where the encounter system is going to go. But once, the encounter, once we feel the encounter system is great again, I might open up the Meat Grinder again. But for now, again, every wipe, I test something, some things until the next wipe. So the next wipe, we might have more servers. We might have less servers. We might have more rules. We might have less rules. One thing is for sure, before when 1.0 comes out, every server will be built anywhere, which will have a, which gives people a lot more freedom with base building. I just need to change TI, which we're talking about now, true immersion. I need to change that map to where everyone's happy and everyone says those are great zones to put on all the servers so that I can make, make the map build anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to be fine-tuning that map to make the servers to make all my servers build anywhere before the 1.0 update. So, yeah, you can build anywhere, just you can't build over roads, okay? So the rule says the map is now built anywhere, so you can literally place your flag anywhere if it's not in a zone, okay? You can't block tar roads. One hour after you log out, your flag base cannot be damaged or locked. Okay, that's offline raiding, okay? Basically, guys, you um, you can't build your flag inside zones. You can build your flag outside of zones. You can build your base into the water. Okay? Trust me. Trust me. You can literally build your base into water, into rivers, into streams. There, you can build your base. You can build over gravel roads. You can take over lighthouse. You can close up the lighthouse. Trust me. Build anywhere is a heck of a lot of fun. Just don't close off roads. Okay? Don't close off roads and don't don't shoot at people, okay? Coming past roads. Um, yeah, basically the same rules. Oh yeah, now solo and solo and duos. Two cars, two bikes. Let me just make a note here. TI. Two cars. Um, plus two bikes. You can have two cars, two bikes, plus two bikes, plus a boat, plus a plane. Although I don't think you can get planes in TI. I don't think you can get planes in TI. No, you can't buy. Yeah, on TI, you have to buy your vehicles. So no, you can have, you can buy two cars, buy two bikes, and buy a boat, and a paddle board, or whatever you want. You just can't buy a plane, okay? Um, yeah, all the zones are basically no-ball zones, and that's it. And that's the end of the video, guys. That wasn't too long. Um, again, you know, play fair. Don't play at all. I'm not here to have a problem with you. The only reason I'm going to talk to you is if you are causing a problem for other people, and then I have to, and then you're causing a problem for me. And I'm not, I don't like it when people cause problems for me and for my community, okay? Because it takes time away from me that, that I can rather spend helping my community rather than just dealing with you, okay? So I'm not going to waste a lot of time on you. If you're unsure about anything, DM me. I'm always open to anyone in my Discord, okay? Um, you can ask anyone in my community. I respond to them. I try and help them. I'm an active part of the community. I run the servers. I keep the servers safe. I'm very, very personally involved with my servers. Um, and yeah, there's no way I'll ever abuse my admin powers. You, there will be no one that will ever catch me abusing my admin powers because the reason I created servers 
is for for everyone to have the experience that I've always wanted. A fair, zero ego, zero toxic, as pure fun experience where we create a positive community and create a positive environment for people in the world that don't have a positive environment around them. Okay, my community is your getaway, is your pass to happiness, is your pass to relax. No, it, my community is not the place where you come to stress or to show off or to do anything except have fun with like-minded people. Okay, if you don't like that, there's a lot of other communities out there. Have fun, guys. Like I say, I'm open to any questions or suggestions. And I'll see you guys on Live, Die, Repeat, where I'll be making daily videos. I'll be streaming TI from Tuesday to Thursday, and then I'll be streaming Survival Evolved, Saturdays and Sundays, and at least once every month, we'll be doing a triathlon event, and yeah, we're going to be adding the quads, or whatever vehicles. The more vehicles they add, the more legs we add to the triathlon. Love you guys. See you guys later. Cheers. If you've got any, any, any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Or join my Discord and ask me the question directly.